Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shirnagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about allergens or you can understand it as many times this happen like whenever there is changing weather, whenever there is change in weather sometimes because of pollens, sometimes because of dust, be, sometimes because of certain flowers, certain grasses, certain people feel allergy to certain kind of things. These things are not always present outside. For example, some people develop energy because of some specific grass. Some people develop energy from specific flower. Some people develop allergy because of specific pollen which uh, comes in specific season. Sometimes this allergy is because of uh, certain kind of seeds uh, that even birds carry here there eventually. And sometimes people develop energy allergy because of dust. Many times this happens like people stay in their homes and they are not going outside but still they develop this allergy problems because of certain dust, because of certain chemicals and uh, in these situations we most of the times go to the doctors and they pr prescribe us antihistamines. So we take those antihistamines or anti-inflammatories for some time uh, to overcome this uh, allergic problem. but it is not a permanent solution that we cannot use these antihistamines for long time because they are having side effects. They are not very easy for our vital organs. So let us see what Ayurveda has to say about these allergies, why these happen and what can we do about it. You must have noticed many times even uh, certain people you would have met. Uh, they say they are allergic to dogs, they are allergic to cats because they have certain kind of smell and they got allergy towards that and sometimes big fights ha happen in the same house like one person want to keep cat or dog, other person don't want to keep cat or dog or any kind of pet because they are allergic to it. So this also becomes uh, one of the major issue in most of the houses for um, unusual fights. So uh, let us see what uh, how Ayurveda can help you in these fights and what we can do about it. Let us understand these allergic problems more in more depth so that we can overcome it and we can reduce fights and we can have our pets in our home and we can enjoy nature. Whenever these allergies happens in the system they are of various kinds. Sometimes we feel itchy eyes like irritation in the eyes. Sometimes becomes a headache, headache for no reason. Sometimes running nose like in the morning we were good and suddenly nose started running. Sometimes inflammation, sometimes bronchitis, sometimes uh, breathing issues. But reason is always uh, unidentified and that is why doctors tell like you have allergy to certain thing and you need to figure out what you are allergic to. And most of the times it has been seen like it is very difficult to rule out to what thing, what edible thing or outside thing or inside thing in the house we are allergic to. But if you see from Ayurveda perspective there is only one common solution for all kind of allergies that is work on your immunity. If you have good immune system your allergy will go down naturally. Whenever you have weak immune system you are more prone to allergies, you are more prone to these kind of eye irritation or throat irritation or uh, nasal in uh, like these nasal secretions or like cold flu kind symptoms. So whenever you have good immune system you are less prone to these diseases. I also when I was studying and uh, I was not much aware about Ayurveda and Ayurveda was not so much part of my life though cultural traditional values and traditional knowledge we had but still it was because you know we all are more um, prone to uh, this modern era and we want to live modern, we want to eat uh, very uh, typically uh, synthetic things and uh, because you know all teenagers are like that because no awareness. So when th situations are like this then definitely your own system become weak and you become very prone to allergies. So whenever there is there was change of season so I got allergies very oftenly because my immune system was not so good. 
and uh, whenever now change of season happens still i'll take certain precautions but at least i don't land into very difficult situations because uh, thankful uh, because i'm so grateful to ayurveda that i studied it and i i studied that Uh, depth of ayurveda from where there are various methods and techniques are been mentioned which are helpful for most of the people and you can uh, make your situation your health better by using various kind of ayurveda things so today in this video i am going to discuss certain things about that because uh, uh, all my patients to whoever having allergies i i prescribe i told like you do certain things you do these things you take these precautions and they responded like now our health our uh, immune system is much better and we are not feeling such a uh, difficult symptoms which we were feeling earlier that we need to rush to the hospital always Uh, but yes you need to put a little bit effort regarding it because it is not some kind of magic or pill like you do this and it will happen definitely you need to change certain lifestyles you need to add certain things you need to take certain precautions so that you don't land up into these difficult situations which cause unnecessarily uh, inconvenience in our day to day life so what determines strong immunity this is the most common questions if you have very good digestive system if you have very good digestive fire it is the rain started if your digestive system is well if your digestive system is good that means it is a key point for your uh, immunity Uh, if your digestive system is good your immunity will enhance that's why in ayurveda a lot of focus has been given on digestive fire on the health of digestive system and accordingly you should eat because a lot of focus has been given on how to eat what to eat when to eat and uh, because whole ayurveda revolves around jatra agni that is digestive fire or metabolic fire or digestive system so if you have good and strong digestive system definitely it will help in boosting your immunity and the more better your immunity will be you have more energy to fight against infection and allergens or your digestive fire which is responsible for the conversion of food when this is not proper then uh, definitely your food is not converted into a material which can be absorbed by the body properly and it also produce ama that is toxins that's why in ayurveda many times it's been said like you should eat always hot meals you should always eat freshly cooked meals you sh- uh, you need to consume meal within 3 hours of cooking better if the food is of organic origin you should not eat old cold stored food because it is not so good for health if your digestive it will weaken your digestive fire so all these all these philosophy all these uh, principles are towards uh, just to maintain your digestive fire because if you have good digestive fire means you will have good immunity and if you have good immunity that means you can fight against these allergens effectively and you need not to land into hospitals or you need not to take any kind of antihistamines or these kind of drugs emergency definitely you will take but otherwise you your visit to hospitals will go very much down